Hello everyone, my name is Mike Westwater and I'm a business development manager here at PowerMation. The products that I'm responsible for are the motion and drive products that we carry at PowerMation. And today we're going to take a deeper look at a Tolomatic IMA actuator, which stands for Integrated Motor Actuator. It's one of the linear actuator products from Tolomatic. Tolomatic is one of our partners in our motion solutions line. And we have this brochure available on our website. And from here we can see that Tolomatic sits right in here as far as the product portfolio. So if you get a chance, you can take a look at that on our website. And then what we also have for you today is Andy Zasky over at Tolomatic is going to take a deeper look into this particular actuator using this cutout version here. He's going to go inside and explain some of the inner workings and actually what's uh, behind the technology in this particular actuator. So with that said, I'll hand it over to Andy. Well, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. I'm very happy to spend a little time with you talking about the Tolomatic Integrated Servo Motor and Linear Actuator. So this is our IMA integrated motor actuator product and I want to take you on a quick dive inside of what's going on with this uh, relatively sophisticated and compact device. What we're doing is we're taking electricity and we're going to convert rotational motion into linear motion. We're going to create force capability to either push or to pull with this thrust tube right here and the way that we're going to do that is we have a servo motor that's embedded inside of here and then we have a screw assembly that is actually right down the center of that hollow core motor and I'll show you the details of that here. So we have copper windings here in the outer exterior of the actuator. As we go in we have our rotor. These are the magnets on that rotor. So as we energize the device this rotor is going to spin with these magnets and it's going to create rotational force. This rotor is now rigidly coupled to this screw assembly back here. The screw assembly is going to rotate along with the rotor. And as it does that, it's going to take this nut assembly and we're going to move that along the length of this screw. So that nut assembly will go in reverse if I go backwards and it will go forward if I spin it the other way. The faster I spin it, the, further, the quicker it will move. You have everything tied together here and so uh, the entire servo motor is now coupled to the linear actuator. This nut is attached to this thrust tube. I can see this thrust tube is extending here as we move uh, further and further. Now on the back side of this, the screw shaft extends through and it actually is connected to an encoder on the back. This encoder is counting revolutions in one direction or the other direction and gives you a tremendous amount of information about how hard the actuator is working, how fast it's rotating, exactly what position it's at at any point in time, and gives you sort of infinite positioning capability. You can go forward, you can start here, go backwards, you can adjust the amount of acceleration, the amount of uh, deceleration, uh, there's a lot of capability here. So all of this in a very tight package. We have four different sizes, uh, 22, 33, 44, and 55. And uh, we go from about 100 pounds of force up to five to 6,000 pounds of force capability with these integrated actuator packages. And there's a tremendous number of different lengths and, uh, and options in terms of mounting and configurations as well. So I encourage you, nowadays servo motors are hard to come by. Uh, actuators are required to automate uh, activity in industrial settings and any sort of factory automation. So, so once again, this is our IMA integrated motor actuator. Next time you have a factory automation project, I encourage you to uh, think about uh, sizing up one of these with our sizing software or reach out to uh, your local distributor, PowerMation, or out to Tolomatic, and we'd be happy to work with you on sizing up this application. With that, I'm going to hand it back to Mike. Back to you, Mike. All right. Thank you very much, Andy. Appreciate it. Again, it was Andy Zasky over at Tolomatic giving us an inside view on how the IMA, Integrated Motor Actuator, works in detail. Um, and just to continue on with what Andy said, this uh, actuator contains a servo motor and actually an encoder or feedback device, as Andy mentioned, and it utilizes technology to get both motor and feedback into a drive, which is also compatible with the motion and drive line that we have here at uh, PowerMation. So thank you for your time. For more information, please visit PowerMation.com. You can also click on a link in the description to this video. Again, my name is Mike Westwater, Business Development Manager with PowerMation, and thank you very much.